and good morning. This is day three of Stardew Valley. This is Sadie and Chibius. And we are starting up our morning weather report. Weather tomorrow is clear and sunny all day long. Also, down here, fortune teller. It seems like it's nothing, right? Um, but what this is, is this tells you the RNG baseline for the day. So the spirits are very happy. They're going to do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. I like that answer. That means that we're going to be slated a little higher in the RNG happiness. It is raining, which means we have nothing to do in the garden. I like that. Oh, but we just got a letter blue. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. I think that might be one of the upgrades we pick up. It should be an upgrade we pick up fairly soon. Also, we got 50 cash last night. Remember that seashell we picked up on the beach? Put in our box. It just came back. Mm -hmm. We're going to pick up any flowers we see. Here is the bus. Currently, the bus does not bus. The bus is broken down. I don't think it ever actually implicitly mm -hmm. addresses that. Also, we have mine carts, but the mine carts do not work either. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to grab some of these flowers that we're seeing, and we're going to meet the residents on the north side of town now. So, everyone has a preference. Mine is grab the flowers when you see them. They do re-sprout. Takes a little bit of time. This way on this road is now blocked. Later, as I understand it, it will become accessible. But right now, can't go anywhere. But that is a good, handy little road for picking up some foliage flowers. Very yep. snacky things. So we're going to head back into town and strike up on the north path. This yep. one, I believe, leads just up towards the playground. Yep, here's the park and the playground. And sometimes, if you're looking for one of the children NPCs, they'll be here, especially on weekend days. Yep, and that's where you will also find Penny. But since it is raining, they have slightly different uh, schedules, of course. Yep. The uh, computer knows it's raining as well as us, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, so this building is currently closed. We will be visiting this later. It comes up in a couple more days as an event building. Uh, but right now, we cannot access it. Up here we go. And here is one of our first towns. Open 9 a.m. I House is open. Like, I don't... I think it. that's the blacksmith. Ooh. Actually, that's the carpenter's house. But look, more wiggle worms. We got rocks. But the hay, that's rocks we didn't have to get mm -hmm. before. Okay, so there's a tent here, and here is Linus, and Linus is a resident hobo. I am not mad at this, he's sort of a hippie up here in his tent with a yurt. I can totally get down with the peaceful lovingness of a random tent hippie. Yep. Town. So, as you can see, this area here, currently blocked off, won't be forever. Let's take a quick glance this way, it's 9.30. Oh, look right here. We have ourselves a leak. Well, I mean, it's raining, so sooner or later we'll have to. But, <laughs> I mean, the plant, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, have we decided we wanted to become friends with Penny? I am totally cool. I'm cool with getting, you know, becoming friends with everybody. And then, as we convince people that we are, you know, our wonderful selves. Uh, but, yeah, no, I find Penny adorable, too. So. I believe this is the house that has the one... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah this, is, this is a full house. So here's Maru. We've met Maru before. As you see, there are stairs coming off of her room, but we can't go up there. This is Demetrius, and his wife is, of course, and we've already met her, Robin. Robin the Handyman, who asks us, have we met everyone in town? That sounds exhausting. You know what? It kind of is. Now, this is Robin's son, Sebastian. Sebastian likes to chill in his room. And he only really, like, you'll see him playing his guitar, you'll see him video gaming, you'll see him almost never outside of his room. But here's He a, will actually go to the bar. Yeah, sometimes he will go to the bar. Here's the handy tip I have for finding him. About 3 o'clock, he leaves his darn room for lunch. So, hang around his house till about 3, and you will eventually be able to catch him. So let's get a little more of this map figured out here. There's a little island here that's accessible by bridges. It leads you to a couple trees, but really nothing else at the at moment. The, at the moment, you never know. Yep. 
as I understand it, the suggestion is to go at least three full years. Every month has 28 days. There's some rocks here that this miner is working on in a couple days that should be clear. And then we'll go see what he's got going on. All right, so we're nearly at meal time. I'm not quite sure how I feel about the, you know, in-game joke about the gamer who never leaves his room except for to lunch, because while I know that's a thing, I'm also, you know, stereotyping much. So, uh, by the way, Demetrius here is the local scientist and father. He, the way he says it makes it sound like he's the only father, and I don't think that's, you know, like, dude, it, unless weird cultish much. <laughs> so, see, we're at noon now, and Mario's coming out for lunch. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, she works at Harvey's clinic. Harvey is the doctor, of course. We have not met Harvey yet, I don't think. No, nope. well, in fact, we might be heading down to the clinic with her. Today is Wednesday, so she's not going there today. Let's see, Demetria, is she coming out yet? See, now he's... Tap, tap, tapping. I like how he's got two computers in one bedroom. And three chairs. And I'm pretty darn sure this is tabletop gaming right here. I think so, too. Or he just likes having three chairs and a map on a table in his room. Yep, and I'm pretty darn sure. Soft quote me, that looks a lot like Smurfette's house. <laughs> Everyone watching just had to Google. Now they released the Smurfs movies, so... And then all at once, a thousand childhoods cried in agony. Yep. <laughs> but it had Neil Patrick Harris in it, so it yeah, wasn't all bad. That That is fair enough. You, you can't have it be all bad if NPH is in it. You can have it be questionable. But not really all bad. I don't think. So, 140, we're getting rained on down here. And I don't think we've crossed the bridge yet, so let's cross the bridge. Okay, so this is Joha Mart. So there are two main ways to decide. Um, this is essentially your giant Walmartian Mega Mart. Okay, so here's Pam. Times have been l tough lately. I got laid off my job as a bus driver. If I got that job back, I could deliver you to drive you to Calico Desert. So Pam, Pam is out of work. And there are various you know, it, it, it's your grocery store, basically. I'm pretty darn sure that they utterly, utterly inspired this off Walmart. There is Shane. This is Shane's day job, which might be why he's so grumpy during the day. I do not think we yeah, can talk I to her. I don't think she actually talks. I think she's... She's just decoration at yep. the moment. And this is Morris. He welcomes us to Joe Hummart. He's a customer service representative. When we're ready to join, he'll make it a delightful experience. So this whole thing depresses the crap out of me. We're playing a, you know, farming sim game, maybe a life sim game, and they're like, here, here's your corporate life in front of you. Join us, mwahaha. Look, man. I'm just saying, not the thing for me. So here's Clint, our blacksmith. And the useful thing, today is a good day to explore the mines. Alas, it would be, but the mines aren't open yet because they still have to clear that landslide. So we're stuck sort of derping in the rain. Um, we, hmm, where should we go? I say we start, we've hit these houses to the north. This building's locked. We've been to, uh, so we hit these ones up in here. I say we, oh, we should go south. We should go down to the beach. On rainy days, you've got a higher chance of things washing up on the beach. It is 340. We should be able to grab some seashells. And after we go to the beach, we happen to have a silver star mm -hmm. daffodil. If we give that to a person that likes it, it will give you a bonus to their friendship. Are you saying you'd like me to go visit the school teacher? The school teacher would be probably in her trailer if she's not Teaching. out reading. Yeah. Yep. Oh, more worms. Most excited anyone ever got over getting worms. Ooh, a gold ore. Those are some fancy worms. <laughs> Hot damn worms. Okay, this is Elliot's house. Elliot of the fabulous hair. So what you're saying, he, he, he's a beachgoer. 
he, he's got that, you know, absolutely fabulous hair, and then he's like, Grimy Beat Shack. What do? Okay, Elliot. Alright, let's run over to the museum, and we'll see if we can, uh, go ahead and spot our lady fair. There we go. She is not here. Well, she might be in this room. We'll check both. If she's not here, we should go. I'll head back that way. See, she might be out playing with the kids. It is 5.30 at night now, though. She might be at her house. Mm -hmm. I think you have to be up further to read that book. See, it's telling me book missing here. So, unfortunately, I don't know why, but they lined these ones up so that, you know, the book for that first one doesn't quite line up with anything. Yeah. Later, they do line up much better. But that first one, little buggy. And we're heading on this way. And what do you think? 16, you want to try the bar again? Uh, in a minute. Ah, here's the mayor's house. It's really important not to have something over your head when you talk to someone, or else it will try to automatically gift that to them. Um, hence the handing a person a fish last go round, because totally seen the thing. Oh, here we go. I don't think I recognize this coat. Harvey! He's the local doctor. I think Wednesday night is the night when everybody comes into the bar, actually. Yep, see, here we go. Sam, nothing like an ice-cold Joha Cola on a sopping wet day, huh? There's Abigail. Abigail, I believe, is dateable. She is. And here is Sebastian, who finally left his video games. Good for you, kid. Really, this is a real world. It's terrifying to go back. Here is the cask room. And we now have those three. We've talked to this kid. Oh, well, actually, it's probably not a kid. Shane's heart. I like how Shane is drinking, and it says Shane's hard at work. He isn't interested in talking. Hopefully, we didn't bug out the game somehow, but. Apparently, Shane. Hard at work with that beer. <laughs> Pam, sigh, hey kids, you're too young to be moping around in a place like this. It reminds me of this bar that we had um, down the street from where I grew up, and it was like the midlife crisis bar where they yeah. were. Yeah, like it was a bunch of people older than my parents that were like sitting back pounding down alcohol till they could get the biggest set of beer goggles ever. And that's what this, you know, old-timey saloon thing totally reminds me of. It's that faux country. And see, here's the thing. So it's the saloon, and yet I, I believe Abigail is our botanist, if I've got this straight. Or nature lover. But yeah, like, half of the people in the saloon are teenagers. Yep, I think we missed our chance to talk to Penny. That's all right. We'll carry the flower with us tomorrow. We'll give it to her then with the kids. Yep. So, heading on down. I believe if we go up, that's the shortest way to our house. And we can drop the, uh, daff not the daffodils, but, uh... The dandelion... Well, the dandelion's got a silver star. Oh, okay, yeah. The dandelion we want to toss over to... I think I want to try to toss over to Penny. So let's go ahead and we're going to visit our friendly neighborhood chest and let's drop off our extra things. We'll keep one with us for socialization purposes. And I guess we'll drop our leak in here too. The clams, let's go ahead and sell those off right now. They make good money. And that leaves us with our tools and our happy, happy dandelion. Garden's looking good. I'm gonna head to bed, and we'll start day four. Okay, level up. Level one foraging. Plus axe proficiency. Trees now. Drop seeds, that's right. New crafting recipe. Wild seeds spring. 
new crafting recipe, field snacks. Field snacks are basically your granola bars. And there we go. Two clamshells, 100 gold. Not mad at that at all. Not bad at all. Now, important thing to know, your progress gets saved every night. So you can't save during the middle of the day. You have to go to sleep. All right. Living up the land says, for you folks living in Stardew Valley, check for Spring Onion southwest of town where the river meets the ocean. Which, there's a spot. I'll, we'll go there today and we'll grab some onions. Spirits are in good humor. We'll have extra luck. And tomorrow's weather is rain all day. So another rainy day. Not mad at that. The more it rains, the less we have to walk. Remember, it's good to be just the right amount of lazy. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's do our watering real quick. We're gonna water like it's hot, yo. Sounds legit. Hey, I said there'd be jokes. I never promised they'd be funny jokes, just that there'd be jokes. does not help that it makes that little water trickle sound every time you water something. What I'm saying is this is not a game to play after three sodas. Yeah. And we have worms. That sounds way too enthused. Whoa! Ancient doll! That is brand spanking new. Artifact curator of the local museum might want to know about this. And a book. Well, heck, we're just making that guy happy. Lost book. Now, the lost books for the library go into the actual library instantly. You don't have to remember to turn those in. The reason I'm letting you know that is, first time I played this, I was like, oh my god, I have to hand in that book. And nope. Okay, new quest archaeology. You found an ancient looking object. Could it be an artifact from long ago? Perhaps Gunther can answer this question. And since we happen to be going there anyways with our cache of dandelions. Actually, I think they open at 9, because everything opens at 9. I think these are supposed to be soda cans and litter over here. Yeah. Um, I have sort of... Oh, and there's Miss Penny. Perfect. No, hold still. Hold still. Hold still. I find getting in their way, physically in their way, works. Thank you, this looks special. You're welcome. You too, little lady. <laughs> Uh, how do we look at our friendship again? Okay, you hit escape, and right up here, you see this heart? Those are your socials. Penny has received two gifts for the week. That's the most that you can give somebody. And it looks like we're slowly gaining friendship with her. Mm -hmm. I believe at the end of every week, it assesses hearts. Um, we have a bunch. Okay, so if we've met them, they have a name. Penny, Shane, Clint, Leia, single, Maru, single, Haley, single. She's the one that mentioned her makeup. Vincent's child, there's Jody, there's Pam, Sam, single, Lewis, Abigail, Harvey, Willie, Linus, Demetrius, Robin, Sebastian, Jazz, George, Emily, Pierre, Gus, Elliot, single, Marnie, and then we've got question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. So we are down to need one, two, three, four people. Um, I know where some of these people live, we just have across me yet. So let's get to looking. Also, since it rained last night, we need to keep an eye out for more worms. Because, hey, it's a game. We get worms. <laughs> it's just like, oh, nope, you want to put that away before you accidentally give it to someone. Yeah. Oh, good. Now I think we actually get to talk to him and have a count. Gunther. Not a single piece in the entire collection. He's feeling the stress. I imagine his funding is not real high at being out in the country. Most country libraries not doing good. Library Plus Museum, that is like two ways to not get grant money in one. He wants to study the doll in greater detail, but it is yours. We considered donating artifacts or minerals so we could make our groundbreaking discoveries. And he 
will throw interesting items our way if he comes across them in his studies. So, as we know from plenty of video games, one that comes to mind is Final Fantasy X. You loan the, you know, starting shopkeeper a few couple hundred, and by the time the game's over, he's got the best stuff ever. But, yeah. you know, you keep running his errands. It is very much the same thing. We keep Gunther supplied in artifacts, and he will throw us some love. Um, so where do you want to put the doll? We get to decide where things get placed. Uh, I am not sure. How about... You want to start filling up this side with artifacts? Sure. And we'll just sort of... Alright. The doll is there. And our journal got updated. Oh, no. I just watered his desk. Archaeology is done. So, you have to actually click on the money to pick it up. Remember to get your money. Now, we have books. Yep. So, it is slowly going to be filling up with books. If I can figure out which bookcase it's in... And that's the thing is, it doesn't always go to the right bookcase. But one of these bookcases will have the... There you go. The History of the Gotoro Empire. That's one of the books. Some of them will also unlock uh, tutorial hints, which you should be able to read right mm -hmm. there. But the game is being slightly picky. Yep, the Geological History of Stardew Valley. So every time we pick up a book, it gets recorded. Because something something knowledge is power. Alright, 10 a.m. And let's take a quick glance. What do we have? Still working on our introductions. Alright. That's okay. Let's see if we can nail out. There's Mr. Mayor again. Saloon can get pretty lively at night. Sometimes we even put a coin in the jukebox. So that's your hint that if you can't find somebody, you're probably in Smash. Hey, there we go. There's Alex. Alex is our resident sports guy because every town needs a sports guy. I'm perfect. Here is Evelyn. Evelyn would like us to call her Granny because, you know, we can get more adorable. And Evelyn and George, they're our sweet, sweet little old couple. So we are slowly chipping away. I think soon we'll have everybody. I'm pretty darn sure I know where the last two people live. And I'm gonna head that way now. Haley, I've decided I'm going to organize my clothes today. I'll have to throw out all of last year's styles to make room for the new ones. Oh, she's gonna be an expensive girlfriend. There's Penny. Lucky to have a library in a small town. She is adorable. Yep, already given Penny two gifts this week and that's enough. So I guess we could spread around a little love. Yep. There's Jody and Jody's son Vincent. Um, and there's her kitchen. They do have the cutest little country kitchen though. Also, if you've noticed, the cloud on blue wallpaper in Vincent's room is the exact wallpaper of um, that they had in Toy Story. Oh, yeah. Which probably makes me more than a little nerdy to recognize that, but it's the white clouds on blue uh, sky wallpaper. So, I believe if we keep coming out this way, Stuck on a couple plants, we're gonna run on out to Kijinod, the wizard's tower. And that's one of our two missing NPCs. I think he's on this side of the water, but he might be on the other side. Either way, we're gonna go have a magical trip. Ooh, another dandelion. Nice, nice. Which reminds me, what do you think? Old dudes living off on the side in towers by themselves. It's locked. You can hear someone inside, though. 
Alright, wizard not ready for a visit yet. And that's part of the thing is you can't meet everybody on day one because some of them are behind things that you can't yet access. So, which is okay. There Jazz again. Oh, she's jumping rope and messed up her count. This game is so sneaky cute in so many ways. Yep. Now this, coming at it from a different angle, this is the bottom of our farm. There is a north, a uh, south, and a going west um, way to approach the farm. All of which totally work, um, but each one has to get cleared out independently, so lots of weeds. Now these weeds give you something called fiber, they're basically plant fibers. Those are one of the many supplies that you can get. So, I'm not saying let the weeds go. I'm saying you might not want to carry them around forever. So, plan your demolitions of things accordingly. I'm just going to gently hack a quick path through. So we can start taking that shortcut too. Now, eventually they will grow back. And rocks will even sometimes sprout back up overnight. And yep, I know how weird that sounds. Look what we got what, what I think it might be is uh, the water, you know, the water with the rain. Resetting it back? That could yep. be. Yep. Washing, you know, the dirt away, revealing rocks. Yep. So we got some uh, mixed seeds out of the uh, weed that we just hacked. So we're going to plop that here, throw a little water on it, and see what this mixed seed gods want to bless us with. It's free money either way, so... Exactly. And we do not get upset at people throwing money at us for free. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so where to next? We've got a couple hours to burn. Hmm, who, else, who do we just want to be friends with? I... Uh, you know what? I like the... Love everybody. The trick is, okay, so every day you don't speak to somebody who is at less than max, you lose 0.2. A heart is worth 10. So if you try to talk to everybody, you're going to spend your first week just running around trying to talk to everybody. That's not really terribly efficient use of time. So I find Penny to be adorable. Um, I don't know who else. There is a maple seed. Yep. Let's clean out some of this stuff going this way towards our other entrance for today and just sort of try to get, you know, another thing of mixed seeds, a little wiggle room here. Because that's what we really need, I think, is just, you know, more than one way to get around. Yep. So you see this here? This is a seed on the ground. If we pick that, we're not going to get a tree there. So I'm going to try to leave as many of those in place as we can. Because trees yes. are worth more wood than a single seed. So, gonna whack a few trees, and you can see here the path that's going north here. Got all those out. Make ourselves a little bit of room here, because that's what we need. Now also, and I haven't gone far enough to know for sure, but there is, right here, a second building that's been clearly demolished. I don't know if this is supposed to be our barn later, our chicken coop, or what, but there is in fact a building here. Speaking of chickens, our chickens are being adorable. You know, our chickens are often adorable. That's sort of their main purpose in life. Give me eggs, be adorable. Also, there's a cave up here. You can go in, but currently the cave is empty. Can you dig anything up there? I have not tried, but that is a brilliant and probably should have thought of that myself idea. So, nope. It looks like the floor looks almost cobblestone-y. So, clearly, we're going to have a use for it. We just don't yet. It might be one of those that it's uh, year two or three. Yep. This is meant to be a multi-year game. You're supposed to keep playing it to play it, and I am cool with that. It's not like Harvest Moon where it expects you to do everything within the first year. Which is good because 
then you had to make choices. Are you going to do X, Y, or Z? This game says eh, you can do a little bit of everything, except you can't marry everybody. Polygamy, not allowed. Well, I was not making them mad at that sound. <laughs> well, that was just my chair squeaking. Your butt squeaking, likely story. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to take out this tree. Oh, pine cone just dropped. Obviously, it's a pine tree. And we do want to make room for that. Yep, I need to make a little bit of room. But I think we now have all the pieces we need. Let's still check this. Um, so, yep, going to go grab those pine cones. Pine cones plus maple seeds plus some acorns. So, oak trees, which is this one up here, I think. Nope, down here. Oaks have smaller leaves than uh, maples. So, that's how you can start telling them apart. However, I'm starting to feel exhausted, so we're going to have to do that tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to whack that oak tree down, pick up the acorns that drop from it, and then we will make our first food. And the only food you can make before you get to your kitchen, your granola bars. Those are your field snacks. Those are going to become very valuable. Yep. They, uh, it restores more of something else than energy, but we'll get, the, we'll get there when we cover it. Mysteries abound. Also... Did we ever let those people out of the basement? No. We, we, we need to go, you know, feed our hostages, do a little wardening. We'll be back in a couple with some more Stardew Valley and some granola bars. And we're just going to happy homemaker up this thing. This is Sadie. And she is. Talking to you later. Bye-bye.